Hey guys, it's Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. Recently I've been making some videos about my environmental science major and just what it's like to be an environmental science major and all the other types of environmental majors there are out there. That was my video last week. You can go check it out. I will link it up here. But I got some comments asking about careers that you can have with an environmental science degree and what you can do with just a bachelor's degree and not going on to grad school. So that I'll just make a video compiling some of the careers that I have found that you can get and different types of jobs that you can get right out of college after your four-year bachelor's degree in environmental science. So without further ado, let's just get started. So if you're new here and you don't know who I am, um, I'm Evelyn. I am an environmental science and policy major at Clarkson University. I'm wearing my Clarkson shirt today. I am going to be in y'all's boat looking for an environmental science job after I graduate. Um, I'm more interested in the policy stuff, which I will talk about in a little bit, but I wanted to just share these ideas with you. So starting off, let's just kind of talk about what it means when you call yourself an environmental scientist after you graduate. According to environmentalsciencedegree.org, we're getting from my computer over here, um, an environmental scientist's job duties may vary, but it isn't uncommon for them to conduct experiments with dyes and bodies of water to test how chemicals might disperse during a toxic spill and come up with ways to minimize damage, um, create maps and or graphs that illustrate the effect of air pollution over time and then help other officials make better informed decisions about environmental laws, evaluate the effect humans and wildlife have on one another, monitor water quality at beaches, lakes, and ponds to ensure it is um, contaminant free and keep people and wildlife safe from exposure to harmful toxins and more. The objective of an environmental scientist's career is to investigate, identify, prevent, and solve environmental problems in order to ensure that the planet and all its living creatures are kept safe." End quote from environmentalsciencedegree.org. That was kind of a lot, but as you can see, like environmental scientists can do a lot, a lot of things. And a lot of the jobs that I found actually look for more specifically like environmental scientists that have a strong background in geology. That's really important, but I'll get to that in a second. So a lot of it is with water testing, air quality testing, stuff like that, because you're really just trying to make sure that companies and groups are not, you know, polluting the environment. And then also how do we mitigate pollution when it's already happened? How do we clean up oil spills? And how do we keep people healthy when there are these contaminants? In the environment and there's lots of other resources you can find to see like what it's like to be an environmental scientist if you want to see my video on what it's like to be an environmental science major I'll link that up here but environmental science is really broad there's lots of things that you can do which I talked about in my last video which I linked at the beginning um, so yeah definitely just keep looking into it there's so many different directions you can go into more specific majors and stuff like that but that is if you are an environmental scientist you have your environmental science bachelor's degree that's kind of the type of things that you can do so looking at like specific types of companies out there and different groups that you could work for once you graduate, um, I looked a lot on like indeed.com and just like job listings and things like that that are looking for um, environmental scientists that only need a bachelor's degree and a lot of them you needed a bachelor's degree in like environmental science or biology or geology or like a similar field. A lot of them are also called like physical scientists. So one thing that you could do is you could be an environmental consultant or work for an environmental consulting and contracting company. So basically, you would work for the private sector or also for the public sector and address environmental issues such as water pollution, air quality, and soil contamination. So you would like work with the company and be like, okay, if you do this, these are like the risks that are involved, or you could help them with making sure that they are complying to local laws and stuff like that and just giving them the best way to make sure that their company doesn't harm the environment. If you're more interested in working for the public sector, wow. If you're more interested in working for the public center, why do I keep saying that? If you're more interested in working for the government, nonprofits, in the public sector, something called environmental protection specialist. So you could work for the US government, state government, local government, and help to develop, execute, and monitor environmental protection plans and programs. You could be a staff resource on policy and procedure guidance on like water programs and activities and like working with stakeholders and making sure that everything that the government is doing, like maybe you are working for like parks and rec department and making sure that like these new plans are protecting the environment, are complying to laws, and also are still going to benefit the community and you know, help maybe the town make money or whatever it is. So making sure that you're protecting the environment while also continuing to progress with these projects that the government wants to do. 
Another type of company that you could work for is like a groundwater service or other like similar companies. So doing things where you're testing like groundwater sampling, making sure that you know, water treatment systems and like waste management and that kind of stuff is functioning properly, that contaminants and stuff are actually getting cleaned out of water, that groundwater is safe. So if you're working for like a natural gas company, like making sure that they are not contaminating the water and like helping them to mitigate that if they have contaminated the water already, stuff like that. So lots of like cleanup with like oil and natural gas companies. <laughs> and a lot of the groundwater stuff involves hydrogeological surveys and lots of like geological work. You know, this is not always working with and it's like a oil company or natural gas company. Like there's lots of different groups out there that work with groundwater. Like maybe it is a water supply company or the town making sure that people's wells are safe, stuff like that. So if you're interested in like clean water and making sure that people have access to clean water and that water is not being contaminated, there's a cool job. And if you aren't like specifically working for a groundwater company, there's lots of companies that look for scientists that can do groundwater tests or just any other water tests to make sure that they are complying with laws, making sure that they are not contaminating anything, that they're keeping people safe. So like construction companies, water companies, mining companies, a lot of them look for environmental science experience and also geology experience. So it depends on like what college you go to and what program you're in. So some environmental science programs do have a lot more geology background. Um, the program that I'm in doesn't, it's more like ecology and policy and like human relations with the environment, but there are also like environmental geology majors. So you can look into that. Another company that I kind of already mentioned that you work for is energy companies. So a lot of them like oil, natural gas, and then even, you know, the good companies you want to work for like solar panels and wind turbines and all that stuff. They look for environmental scientists to make sure that they are complying with laws. They are working with local environmental organizations to make sure that nature and animals are being protected. And, you know, oil spills and natural gas companies need to help make sure that they are not having oil spills and they also need help cleaning up those oil spills and mitigating any environmental damage that they are causing. I personally would not want to really work for a fossil fuel company because I know I want those to and disappear as we transition into solar panels and wind turbines and stuff. But if you're interested in helping them to just get better before we can completely switch over, that's a cool job. But also if you want to work for like a solar panel company or a wind turbine company to help make sure that they are doing everything they can to protect the environment while they are creating it. clean energy, that's a cool job. So you could do stuff with them like making sure that they're not disturbing like wildlife pathways if you're into like ecology. that is working with natural resource management so this could be working with the government or with other companies just to make sure that you are sustainably harvesting trees or whatever other natural resource you're working with so if it is fossil fuels if it is like mining in some way or if it's water anything like that just making sure that we are harvesting these resources sustainably and helping companies to make sure that they're complying to local and national regulations so a lot of these jobs are just being kind of that like intermediate person between like environmental laws and the company that you're working for and then also going out into the field and like testing water and stuff like that to make sure that the company hasn't been contaminating and if they are what they can do to fix that if you're interested in working on farms, you can do something called integrated pest management and other farm research where you are helping farmers find the best ways to, you know, get rid of pests or just to manage their farms and do the best like crop rotations and stuff like that to have sustainably grown food. So integrated pest management is like looking at ways to get rid of bugs and weeds without using chemicals like chemical pesticides are like the very last resort. So what different methods can you use to protect the produce from pests and stuff like that. So if we're interested in agriculture, that's something cool to look into. And integrated pest management can also be applied to like if people have a bug infestation in their house, like what is the best way we could get rid of that without using a whole bunch of chemicals and stuff like that. If you're interested in being an educator or doing outreach, with community that's another awesome job that you can do through nonprofits through the government and other organizations to help teach the public about environmental issues that are going on you can also be an environmental science teacher but that you would need a master's degree in most states for or you have to get a teacher license that's just a cool way that you can like explain to the public like if you're working for a nonprofit, like hey this is why we're doing what we're doing these are the issues if you want to help us do you want to donate like being that person that's kind of that intermediate intermediary, is that a word? I don't know, with the public um, and just helping bring their attention to environmental issues. And then also if like work for the government explaining like why we have these environmental laws, why they're important, why we're doing what we're doing as like the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation or as the EPA. Working with the public to make sure that they understand the importance of all of the environmental work that 
the group you're working with is doing. You can also work with the National Parks Service if you want to be a park ranger. That would need some additional training, but you can become a park ranger with a bachelor's in environmental science or a related degree. Or you could also work with them as an environmental scientist or an environmental educator. So you could work with them if they need help like testing the water again on the in the park or just working with like wildlife management and just making sure that the park is staying healthy and that it's being protected properly. Or yeah, you could be an educator and like work on just teaching the public about why the national park is important and just working with the community and stuff like that. You could also be an environmental police officer. Again, this would be more training, but you can do it with your bachelor's degree and then some um, police training. So you would work most likely for your state's environmental conservation department. And what you would do is enforce legislation that has to do with the environment. And depending on like where you are, you could deal with issues such as hunting and fishing violation, water diversion, toxic waste, pollutants, or like smuggling of contraband plant and animal products and stuff like that. So that's a cool job to look into if you're interested in law enforcement and maybe you don't want to be like a lawyer, you're going to environmental law, but you still want to work with like law in some way and you're interested in being outdoors and working with like fishing and hunting and stuff like that. There you go. Kind of going along with that, there are lots of jobs with federal, state, and local government concerning environmental protection as well as human health in relation to the environment. So like the EPA is always looking for environmental scientists to do like research and development and also to help manage projects that they're working on and again to do communication with the public and stuff like that. So if you're interested in working in the public sector and with the government, definitely you can look at the federal level, local level, state level. There are lots of jobs out there. It could also be something called a sustainability coordinator and this would be with a college, with a school, with a business or an organization where you're just helping this institution become more sustainable or to go green and you're helping to make sure that they are complying to environmental laws but also like working towards maybe getting LEED certified for their building or just making sure that they are like setting climate change goals like maybe they want to be a net zero carbon emissions by a certain year like you're helping them work towards those goals helping them to have better recycling systems like that so it's working with this organization this institution to make sure that they are moving in a greener direction you also be a science writer or editor this may need more training it depends on like where you want to work but if you wanted to like write for national geographic or a newspaper or, like news broadcast and just help to write articles about the planet and about environmental science in a way that you know explains the science but also that regular people who don't understand the science can understand so if you're interested in writing and communication communicating with people and you want to do something more specific like with writing or with like journalism that's a cool thing that you can look into there's also a lot of nonprofit work that you can do like there's the world wildlife fund there's four ocean there's wildlife warriors there's the Environmental Defense Fund. There's lots of nonprofits out there that you can work with if they need help doing environmental research to publish and continue to spread the word about environmental issues or if they need someone to communicate with the public. If they, need, they just need people that understand environmental science to help them push forward what they're working towards, what they're trying to raise money for, what they're trying to protect preserve like the National Parks Conservation Association, stuff like that. There are so many things that you can do with your environmental science degree in the private sector, in the public sector, whatever you want to do. There is a job that you can find if you are very interested in, you know, working on advocacy and trying to get new policies passed, or if you just want to work for a company and go out into the field and do water tests for them. There are so many things that you can do. So keep looking. Don't give up, it is a very important major, so I would very highly consider it if you don't know what you want to major in and you're interested in the planet and current issues that we have. So for me, what I want to do, I definitely want to work in the public sector for the government or for a nonprofit. I want to do stuff that's involved with the community and communicating with people and teaching them about environmental issues, maybe possibly like a run for office someday, I don't know, like just be a, like a local, in local government. Um, are also just working for a nonprofit and just spreading the word and doing research for them and yeah, I don't really know. That's just kind of what I want to do and we'll see where it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any more specific questions about environmental science or anything like that, let me know and I can keep making more videos about it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.